This video is sponsored by Undertow by Michael Buckley. This is a novel about a 16-year-old girl named Lyric Walker who lives on Coney Island and whose life is changed forever when she witnesses the arrival of 30,000 ocean-dwelling warriors called the Alpha. The world is initially awed, but things quickly turn ugly to violence and paranoia. And despite her best efforts to stay out of the fray, Lyric is recruited to help the crown prince, who's also a teenager, assimilate to life on Earth. She falls for him, and their love is a very dangerous one in a world that's divided by hate. There are people on both sides trying to keep them apart. But it turns out the Alpha might not be the real enemy. Click the link below to get more information about Undertow by Michael Buckley and look for it wherever books are sold. Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and I'm one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot. Today I want to talk to you guys about visiting bookstores, particularly new bookstores and places you've never been before. Obviously as someone who loves visiting bookstores, I just did an entire bookstore crawl video for you guys. One of my favorite things about traveling and going to new places besides actually experiencing those places is also checking out their local bookstores, particularly if they're independent bookstores, just very local and neighborhood and community-based ones. This past weekend I was actually in St. Louis visiting a friend. I've been to St. Louis a couple of times before, but for some reason I just had never gotten a chance to really check out the bookstores that they have in the area. Usually what I like to do is kind of do like a little bit of research into whatever town I'm visiting, particularly if it's some place that I've never been before, I'll always just look up you know, things to do, places to check out, stuff like that. Luckily, since my friend lives there, she also clearly knows how much I love books. So I asked her if there were any places that I should specifically check out that she knew about. And over the course of the weekend, we ended up hitting two bookstores. The first one that we went to was called Dunaway Books, which was within walking distance of my friend's apartment. So that was really nice. This one is a used bookstore and it's really great. The person who works there is British, at least the person who was working there when I went was British and he was just like really friendly, really helpful. Like I said, it was a used bookstore. They have like their main floor and then like a balcony and a basement section with bargain books. So I just had fun like sort of wandering around inside the bookstore just seeing what I picked up. And I ended up finding this Ann Patchett book. I love Ann Patchett. I've read State of Wonder and Bel Canto and I've been wanting to just read more of her book. So when I found this one, I decided this would be the book that I would pick up from the store. Although there were a handful of books within the store that I probably could have purchased. The thing about used books stores is that they're always a little bit of a gamble. You never really know what they're going to have in stock. The second place that we ended up going was called Left Bank Books. This is an independent bookstore that has both new and used books, which was really nice. This one, again, had two floors. The upstairs was all the new books and the basement had some new books as well as their used book section. I really like that bookstore. Like, I feel like if I lived in St. Louis, that would be like my main bookstore. But what I like to do when I go and visit these bookstores is I try to look to see if they have like staff recommendation sections. And this store had some staff recommendations. Some of them were interspersed within the shelves so there would be like the little cards on the bookshelves for specific books that they were recommended by the staff. They also have apparently a book club and I feel like I would have totally joined the book club because the books that they had picked so far for the book club were all books that I would have loved to read. I felt like just all of those things like the vibe I was getting from the store is definitely like just a place where I would find books that I liked. I would be recommended books that I liked. Um, one thing that I always wish I did was to talk to the booksellers that work there, but I felt like the people that I saw there, at least at the register, were college students, which doesn't mean that their opinions aren't valid, but I wasn't sure if they were actual booksellers or just like working there part time. But yeah, I ended up picking up a copy of The Roundhouse. This was actually in their used book section. And this has been a book that's been on my list of books to read and check out for a very long time because I've heard just such a great things about it and the topic specifically just sounds super super interesting and something that I'd be into and I ended up reading the first couple chapters of this while I was in St. Louis while we were hanging out at a coffee shop and I really enjoyed just like those first two chapters so I'm excited to really do a deep dive into this book. So yeah let me know if you guys are similar to me in that you guys plan trips out of town and you like to uh, visit bookstores when you're in those towns. I don't do it personally every single time I go out of town because it depends a little bit on the city itself as well as like 
who I'm traveling with. If I know I'm traveling with people who aren't very bookish type people, I feel bad dragging them to bookstores because I know how long I can spend in a bookstore. But if I'm hanging out with people or I'm traveling with people who I know are bookish or have slightly more bookish tendencies or are more forgiving of my bookish tendencies, then I will definitely add a bookstore to the itinerary. And also let me know how you guys end up researching the bookstores that you end up going to. This is like just something I personally always struggle with. I use like Google and Yelp a lot of times to just do these things, but my preferred choice would always be to get like personalized recommendations of the different places. So yeah, that's all I have for this week and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!